sing along with you on the campfire. So let's dive in and learn six easy songs to sing around the campfire because we want to spread the ukulele love. Speaking of which, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming on in. And if you're not new, well, hey, glad to see you back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Let's go. Nibbling on sponge cake, yeah. Let's do a little Jimmy Buffett here with Margaritaville, because, you know, frequently alcohol and campfires do go along together. This song needs a D chord. You also need an A chord. You probably already knew your A chord. There is also a G chord. And you know from that D chord, you have to go to a D7, and I recommend just put your pinky down for the D7. I have two tutorials on this, one that's easier and another one that shows you how to do some one finger chord transformations, and I'll have those linked in the description box below. The strumming pattern that I recommend for this is an island strum, the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. If that's a little hard for you, try doing the modified island strum where you're going down, down, work because they're both four beats long and that works well with this song. So grab your ukulele. Let's play it together. One, two, oh, one, two, here we go. Nibbling on sponge cake. Watching the sun bake. All of us tourists covered in Four string <laughs> on my front porch swing. Smell the shrimp there beginning to boil. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett tunes. And don't forget to get people to on the searching for my lost shaker of salt. Salt! Salt! You know? Have fun with it. Okay, do you love it or do you hate it? I happen to be a wagon wheel lover, but I know that some people um, are just a little burned out on it. Such an easy chord progression on it. You need the usual gang of suspects. A C, a G, and an A minor. You know your A minor already, I'm sure. And an F. And the chord progression just, just kind of keeps going over and over again. What a wonderful song for great harmonizing. I like to use an island strum with this, and I have a video down below to really help you lock together the island strum with the words because it's a perfect match with this song. It's, it's, this is an ideal song for learning. So if you're having any trouble with that, look down in the description below. I got that for you. One, two, here we go.
that is such a great song. And, uh, you know, it's, of course, it's about it's traveling song. Um, yeah, because usually you travel to a campsite. Oh, not always. And so here's another kind of traveling song, Country Roads by John Denver. You have the same chords in it. The C, F, G, and A minor. And again, you can do the island strum with this. One, two, oh, one, two. Here we go. along with you. I hope you have a ton of fun with that one. Sometimes we need just a little soul searching around the campfire, so good riddance or time of your life. I think that that is a great song by Green Day to just, you know, kind of get you reflecting. You know, sometimes things that seem bad aren't so bad after all. This song, like Wagon Wheel and Country Roads, uses C, F, G, and A minor and we can use an island strum. One, two, oh, one, two, here we go. That's the third song in a row that has something to do with traveling and roads. Consider becoming a patron. I have this all written out as a campfire packet and additionally I have all my chord charts and we're up over 200 chord charts available to all my patrons as well as two live Zoom sessions a month with me where you can ask questions, jam with me, you know it's a chance to get to know the community and my community is the best. Thank you so very much, patrons. I really could not do this without you. Let's do Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. This song uses our usual suspect of chords, C, F, G, and A minor. But in addition to the G, it also has a G7. And I think of G as kind of like a V pointing down towards the body of my ukulele and then a G7 as a little V pointing up towards the head stock. I actually think G7 is easier. What do you think? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Hey, where do we go? So let's do it. One, two, oh, one, two, here we go. Is 
community. We're so welcoming of beginners, you know, and, and helping each other, singing together, no matter what skill level, we come together as a community. And, it's, you know, young, old, yeah, we do it together. So lean on me. You need a C. You need an F. You also need that G chord. But then there's an E minor instead of an A minor. And I think of an E minor as kind of lining up like a ladder, like that. I did this all with down strums, but, 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 but there's also a place where we're gonna hit our ukuleles as well. When you see in the chord chart down below, when you see the chord symbol, that's a down strum. Then also when you see a bold letter with an underline, that's also a down strum. The E minor to G, you do two down strums at a faster pace, double speed, so you're going E minor, G, G, like you see down below, like that. We have a ukulele slap section, because you want people to, you know, clap along with you, so just call on me, brother, when you need a hand, so down, slap, down, slap. I promise you, you will not hurt your ukulele, and just, you know, give it a nice palm slap right over the sound hole. To get into it, I play my C chord. E is where we're going to start. And it goes one, two, three. Lean on me. Like that. Let's do it together. One, two, three. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to be.
somebody to lean on. Well, I hope you've had fun playing this with me, and more importantly, I hope you have fun playing and singing these songs with others. Let me know down in the uh, comments here. Do you have other ones? Should I do a second version of this campfire songs? Because yeah, I got them. All right, take care. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks again to all my patrons. Love you.